so the trail is not hard. It's sort of like the incline in Manu, uh, Manitou Spring in Colorado. Quite rocky, uh, but it's easy. Well, because I'm choosing the easy, easy trail. Um, just like when you climb Fuji San, Mount Fuji, there are different routes for you to choose. I choose the easy route because I'm not that fit and I haven't been practicing anything. The mother and the son, they're probably way far away from me. I haven't seen them. Take a look at the trail. Catch you up later. Okay, I'm back. This section of the trail, it looks like uh, a little bit of uh, Mackinac Island in Michigan. You should, if you are, uh, <laughs> I cannot breathe. If you ever, go, you should go to Mackinac Island and check it out, the trail. It's a place that you go either with your feet, walking or riding bicycles or horses. There's no cars on the island, which is cool. So you smell a lot of poo-poo smell. It's not that bad, <laughs> but you will definitely smell poo-poo, horse poo-poo thingy. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to Mackinac Island. Someday, isn't it beautiful? Hello. <laughs> so yeah, Makino Island is very, very beautiful. It is very, very, very cold as well. So we prepare with some warm clothes when you visit Mackinac Island. If you could stay overnight on the island, it would be cool too. And there's a butterfly farmhouse kind of on the island. I think you pay like $8 or something like that to go there. Make sure you go there. And there's a trick to have the butterflies lay on you so they don't give you that but this is a trick that I learned when I was in the butterfly farm in Ecuador so bring some banana with you like very ripe banana so you touch your fingers with the bananas and then the butterflies they smell it so they will come and lie, land on your hand if you want to do that but they are not you are actually not allowed to touch them and stop because they worry you might kill them or something I don't know but yeah that's a trick that I want to share with you if you want to catch a butterfly the same when you visit the uh, museum I think it's called science something in San Francisco they have the house for that to the butterfly and stuff oh they really like watch you when you get into the elevator and stuff too so yeah again that's the trick you want to catch any butterflies on your hand or on your, your shoulder and stuff just put some banana whatever you want to catch them they will come to you all right that's enough for the tip <laughs> see you later okay this part is cut up like flat rocky thing
Now, if you ever hide the narrows in Zion National Park, it looks like this on the bottom. When you hike the Zions, the Zion, I mean the narrows in Zion National Park, make sure you have decent shoes because you'll be in the water. Uh, wear appropriate pants. I would say leggings or something that cover that past your knees, but don't have to be so long. Uh, upper part, make sure it keeps you warm because the temperature of the water in the narrows is like in the 50s. So it's probably like five, 10 Celsius degrees. I don't know, but it's, it's pretty cold. But it's not like to the point that you, you'll be freezing to death. If you keep warm up your body, you'll be okay. And because you'll be walking, so you'll be warm. You warm yourself up as you're walking the narrows. And uh, try to walk as far as you could, because the further you go inside, the less people it's gonna be, and you will see more beautiful things and stuff. Look at the tree. It's, a, it's very dense with trees and stuff. Oh, it, the wind is blowing. Now this part looks like a uh, Sequoia National Park. <laughs> I keep telling you, it looks like some places. Yeah, because I've been to a few places and I don't know, it just remind me of the places that I've been. I love hiking. It's so peaceful. You're one with nature. With your thoughts. Make sure it's not dirty thoughts. <laughs> uh, wow. Look at this section full of pine trees and stuff. Hello. Hi. Where is it? Did you get it? I Okay. Looks a little bit like Mackinac Island again. The trail. So this is kind of rest area, I think. Careful, careful. Watch for boars. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. I gotta eat the black pig. Meat. I haven't got a chance to eat it later today. I gotta look for a restaurant that serves that because it's like the specialty of Jeju Island is black pork meat thing. <laughs> the black pork, I mean, pig, black pork, I'm sorry. Black pigs, they're so cute, they're like, adorable. Okay. Like my money too again, the incline. Looks like the incline again. Money to Colorado. So I really suggest you pick this trail. I think it's called some partner or some partner or something. It's easy. To do to hike. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so beautiful. Look at how dense it is. So I think 
I'm at the base. You can go up to the top when you pass the Jinja Jetpack checkpoint before 1230. Is it this place? Is it either checkpoint? Is it restaurants? I wonder if it's free or you gotta pay. Yeah, you climb my Fuji, you gotta pay for two dollars. You want banana? Oh, no. Let's go back. Let me go inside and see what is this place. I'm not sure what this place is. Okay. Let me see. What does it say? So we all. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Information on the behaviors forbidden in Harasan National Park. Camping and cooking are banned. No trespassing, no collecting a wildlife pen, do not make noise. No drinking, no smoking, no littering, no pets allowed. Oh, sorry. Uh. You 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 Yuki 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 So we are here. Chopa,ちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょ